What is going on, Movie Meals? Movie Meals. Thank you, Movie Meal patrons, Kimberly and Karen. Hey, guys, we're about... <laughs> no! We're about... <laughs> um, we're about a little less than 100 subscribers away from reaching 2,000. We think it'd be a really cool goal to do. We're asking for some help on this. Uh, so if you guys wouldn't mind liking, sharing, supporting, we also are going to do a giveaway to help support that. We're going to give out a Movie Meals hoodie to a fan that, you know, over this time as we're trying to get these 100-something subscribers is is active they're commenting they're supporting the channel we've had some really great support lately uh so um please go do that and we'll pick some lucky winner to get a to get a shirt or a hoodie so but we're here for spider-man across spider-verse very one of our most anticipated movies of the year um both saw it yesterday thursday and uh this will be spoiler free so let's uh just get into it here and let's start with kyle what were your positives of uh spider-man across the spider-verse Oof, uh, uh, my positive is that the movie never had me taking my eyes off the screen and my mouth was dropped open the whole time. I mean, I that's really the best description for this experience, and it's not really one that I don't believe that I say very often, but I don't know. We make a lot of videos. It's very possible. But I, I do mean it genuinely that I did have this feeling of just being so absorbed with what I was seeing because... With animation, um, it, it needs to be, in my opinion, like, it needs to not only be beautiful, but also just creative and just fl flow seamlessly and interact with the storytelling. It, it needs to be a big part in how to tell a story. And I just got that experience with in Across the Spider-Verse. I felt like this animation is not only drop-dead gorgeous, but it's just so experimental with how to incorporate different elements of... Uh, not only <clears throat> animation, me, um, types of animation, but just uh, different styles of it at the same time to where it all just was able to blend and flow so well and it never felt like there was these weird stark differences between two different types. And it's just such a mesmerizing medium that just needs to be, one, taken more seriously, and two, needs to be celebrated more. And I think with Across the Spider-Verse, it's going to be one of those wake-up calls similar to how the first Spider-Verse movie was in a way. And I think that this one upped uh, the quality of animation even more than the first one did. And it also really contributed to a terrific story, in my opinion, where it was able to explore not only Miles learning how to grow up and the dealings of what it's like to take on the responsibility as a hero, but also with uh, Gwen's story, Gwen Stacy's story, and the, the personal journey that she has to go through within this. I thought... Um, that both of them, uh, the, the voice actors did a very phenomenal job with that regards, but also the story itself and the way that it was written was able just to work so beautifully, um, alongside with the animation. So yeah, just incredible, incredible animation, really top tier storytelling that I think took it up many, many <clears throat> notches compared to what the first movie did. And it just really does a great job at keeping you at the edge of your seat, loving the action sequences, loving the stakes in this movie, uh, both on the um, multiverse side of things, but also on the personal side of things at the same time to where uh, you're going to wish that the movie doesn't end. That's for sure. So, Alex, what about you? I, uh, well, the the first Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse to me is a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, whatever rating you want to give it. I think it is a perfect movie. I think it mm. is one of the best movies ever made. <clears throat> and so I went into this, uh, you know, I want to actually say this first in the first movie, there's only one animated director and only about three or movies or so where I truly had my jaw hit the floor that the animation was so beautiful. I felt I was looking at a painting or I was just looking at straight real life. And that is Miyazaki. I've only seen mm. it in Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away. Um, and then into the Spider-Verse, the, the first one. I think that animation is insane how good it is. I think this animation and what it does great is, um, I don't think this animation in this movie is like ahead of Into the Spider-Verse, but I think what they did is they said, we don't want to do the exact same thing. We just blew them away. Let's blow mm. them away again. And I went into the movie thinking that, I mean, I didn't even necessarily think it, but like, how can you even do that? Like, you don't even walk into the movie thinking that's a possibility. You just think you're going to get at least the quality you got. And they not only change the animation in certain ways, but the way they handle going and seeing, because we know that it's going to be Spider-Man 
from th billions of universes here. We're going to get tons of different animation styles. And I thought the way they blended that together was so beautiful, so seamless, that I put this as the fourth movie to make my jaw drop. At times, I literally was just open-mouthed, could not believe what I was watching. On top of that, I think the story was phenomenal. I not only love, like Kyle said, wh with what... um with what Gwen's Spider Girl's going through, um, with Haley Steinfeld or or even Oscar Isaac or Jake Johnson, all of that was so great. But the fact that they were, uh, what I think this movie does so well is they said, okay, if the hero's journey, let's pretend it's a pyramid, okay? That's what he did in the first movie. He did the hero's journey. Now we're going to flip that pyramid upside down, and yet it's still going to be the hero's journey in just such a brilliant and unique and great way. I was I was literally, when the movie ended, I thought I was going to cry. I was so happy of, like, literally just joy. I was like, this is amazing. I can't believe what I just watched. I had a long day yesterday. I was like, man, I am tired. I'm exhausted. This is so, like, life stinks. Ah, and I used to say this all the time when I didn't understand movies as much. And as time has gone on, I have said it less and less. I've said it, but I've said it less and less. But this is a movie that truly reminded me why I freaking love going to the movies. I, I just, I loved it. I, I I loved this movie so much that I was like, run it back. Get the guy in here. Go rewind. Run this back. I want to see it again. I wish I would have walked and bought another ticket. I wasn't <laughs> able to. I want to go see it again this weekend. I think this movie is freaking brilliant on all phases. And I'm, I'm hesitant yet to give it a five out of five because I just, I want to go see it again and make sure that I, I'm not just sitting here drinking the Kool-Aid, which I don't think I am, but I'm just nervous about it but Kyle what what are your negatives or do you have any or do you just want to continue with the positives I almost don't want to slow down uh towards negatives uh not that I have many mind you uh but I do want to mention that with when it comes to into the spider verse I really appreciated that the story was able to explain very well on top of telling like a very good story for the Miles character but it just does a good job at explaining uh, what what it what it means to be Spider Man? Like like why is Spider Man no matter who is under the mask? Why why is it just such an important symbol for people? Yeah. And with across the Spider Verse, yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it necessarily retreads on that idea again. Nor uh, despite there being like way way more Spider Man and cameos and uh what and that sort of thing. But <laughs> then you I could think, dream um, <laughs> that that you can dream of, especially true. But I, I just think that it does. <clears throat> a really good job at using the 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 multitude of Spider-Men um oh shoot I may have lost my train of thought I think in this one it tells like a much it does a much better job at telling Miles's personal journey but and less so on the Spider-Man side but I still don't think like the Spider-Man side of it all uh is taken away or used for like shock value to like a very unnecessary degree uh, it does a really good job at still showcasing, like, the meaning and the brilliance behind, like, the meaning of Spider-Man without it uh, becoming just a ooh and ah type of appeal. Uh, it just works well for the story, I believe. So, this one more so does brilliantly with the Spy with the Miles story, but still does well with the Spider-Man elements, I would say. What, are, do you have any negatives, sir? We have to get to the negatives. Um, I do wonder about its pacing, even though like I was oh. just taking in everything that I've seen. Stop. At times, Stop. I did wonder if I was like feeling the length of the movie just in. Uh, I don't. I don't here. quite know. I just wonder. He's reaching. <laughs> I, He's reaching. He's enough. looking so hard. He has to critique it. It can't be perfect. It's impossible. <laughs> He's reaching so hard. He didn't feel the run time. He's lying. He never no. once thought, what? Well, I need to get home and get out my meatloaf. He never <laughs> once thought that. I do not believe you. For a second. No, I... I there, get there out were, of here. It's, it's not a big complaint because I loved what I was experiencing, but there was a few moments where I'm like, I can feel the long run time happening here. I still enjoyed my time, but I can feel it, and I just don't think the pacing was uh, quite there yet to where i felt like i wasn't having any of that become a part of my watching experience of my viewing experience um but really 
like Alex was saying, that could be a reach. I'm sure, like, I'm one of the few people who do that, because everyone in my theater was having a great time uh, all the way through. Yeah, hey, I like my meatloaf. What can I say? Where's the negative? I must find it. When the movie ended, I looked at my girlfriend and I said, this, 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 and this. These, and then I named friends, and I said, this person, this person, this person, they're going to complain about this, 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 and this. And when it happens, get ready that for me to be right. Was this one of them? Can't wait. Uh, you? No. I did not even name you as one of those people. Oh, thank God. Uh, and if the they're watching... Best. I bet I'm right. <laughs> Get, tell they me I'm wrong. Us. I hope. I hope you tell me I'm wrong. Um, we don't have friends. I I do think it. I I think this movie is phenomenal. I truly, at this moment, have no weaknesses. I think it is almost a perfect movie, and the only reason I'm not giving it perfect at this point is because. I need to see it again and make sure I, I'm not the problem here. I need to make sure it's not me. Okay? So, uh, I do think that people... I don't get the runtime at all. I have no idea what Kyle's talking about. I thought that movie was beautifully well-paced in terms of its build, stay, and then go, all right, here we go. Here, There's the end. I, I was like, what are we doing? It was amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I think people... What, what will rub people the wrong way is... I do think some people are not going to like the mixing of animations and what you're going to have to do for for a Spider-Man movie like this. If you're going to have every Spider-Man ever, you're going to get weird animation styles. I, I mean, I'm going to say tiny spoiler here without really being a spoiler, I think, but you're going to get something in live action. I think we went in expecting that there would be some version of a live action something. And I think that will... Uh, rub some people the wrong way. I think they're fools. I think that the script would be weak if it did not do what it ended up doing. So I, I, I just, I think this movie is phenomenal. I think it's that freaking good. And I am shocked that they were able to do this with a sequel. This doesn't happen. You don't get this. They don't, studios don't change it up for a sequel. I mean, look at How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon is beautiful animation to me, it's not this jaw drop that I've been talking about, but it is insanely good. But when you go from the first one to the second one, the story is so great. It continues to be amazing, but I don't sit there and go like, I don't have this reaction. I don't have this feeling. The fact that they were able to do this twice is insane. And like Kyle said, I do think animation and popular and animation rising in popularity has been happening for a while. I think anime is a massive reason for that. But I do think movies like this are really big into uh, the West saying, hey, we can do it too. Here you go. And I just, I freaking love it. I freaking love it. You got any other thoughts to end this video? Um, animation is art. Animation is not a genre. It's a medium and it's for all ages. It's all inclusive. So people don't be weird about animation. It's just like movies. There's always something for everyone. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Guys, what do you think of Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse? Comment below. Let us know. I'm going to like across Spider-Verse in the Spider-Verse. I'm going to struggle. Uh, remember to like, <laughs> subscribe, comment, share. Please, please, please. We want to give stuff away here. Do, comment, share, do all that great stuff. And as always, thanks for watching, Mom. See you guys.